Welcome back to part two of our basic to advanced floor plan mini series. Enjoy the video. The next thing I'm going to do is add a structural floor. So I'll go to floor and structural. Then I'm going to edit the type and duplicate. And then I'm going to rename this to concrete slab on grade 150 millimeters. Then I'm going to edit the structural thickness to 150. And then for now, I'll leave the material as blank and hit OK. And then I'm going to make sure that this is to the outer radius, but I'm going to leave a tolerance of 20 millimeters just for the render finish on the exterior side. And then I'm going to turn thin lines on and I'm going to select the boundary and trace around the outer edge of the walls. And then I'm going to add a slab for the exterior veranda. So I'm just going to change that to wireframe so I can see the slab edge. And then I'm going to go back into my floor structural. And then I'm going to use a simple rectangle and go from this corner right through to that corner. And then hit the tick box. Let's change this back to hidden line and let's add some finished floor levels. So let's go to floor again. This time we're going to use floor architectural. And then I'm going to go to edit type. Then I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to call this 500 by 500 large format tiles. I'm going to edit the structure and then I'm going to call this 25 millimeters. And then I'm going to change my material and then I'm going to create new material. Right click, rename and call this large format tiles. And then I'm going to add a surface pattern. I'm going to go into the model tab, then I'm going to create a new pattern, 500 by 500. Cross that 90 degrees and call it 500 by 500. Then hit OK out of there. Now with this floor, I'm going to go to the interior edge of my floor plan. So I'm just going to use the line tool and then I'm going to carefully trace around my walls. So when I get to a door, I'm going to carefully trace around the opening to make sure that I correctly lay my floor finish. And I also want to make sure that this floor finish doesn't go through and underneath any of the interior walls. So I'm just going to trace that through the entire floor plan. And once that's done, I'm just going to adjust my offset to be 25 mil. And then I'm going to hit the tick button. Now let's do the same for the other areas. I'm going to hit floor, floor architectural. I'm going to edit the type and then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this 300 by 300 small format tiles. And then I'm going to do the same with the editing the structure. I'm going to create a new material, right click, rename, small format tiles. And then I'm going to do another model surface pattern, which is 300 by 300. Press H and then hit OK for that one. The last thing I'm going to do is the exterior side, which is the same tile as this one. So I'm going to select that floor. I'm going to go to create similar, and then I'm going to do the same again for the exterior side. 
So let's go back into our wall types and let's make the adjustment so that they all appear with the black poche. So I'm just going to change that type to solid fill. Now all of those are black poche walls. Let's also go back into our floors and adjust the line color. So I'm going to change the color down so that it's not as in your face. So that's gray two, three, five. And then I'm going to hit OK on that one. Then I'm going to do the same for the other one. So I'll go to edit type, edit the structure, edit the material, and then change the color to gray, 235, and then OK. And that's the end of the video. Be sure to check out part one to this basic to advanced floor plan mini series. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more regularly released Revit content. I'll see you in the next one.